What's up, Betty Army? Welcome to another segment of In the Kitchen with Betty Twins. minutes since we brought you in the kitchen guys and we're so sorry we're a sorry. lot has been going on we've been doing this keto diet and we're trying to stay on track but today we're here with our we're new back. with a new new segment and it's gonna be keto friendly what are we cooking today we're cooking pork chops a good old pork chop a nasty pork chop and we're gonna have some steamed cabbage with that some avocado and yeah, it's gonna be very simple because it's, it's it, we're, we're in the, the, the margins of the keto diet, so we can't eat anything. We can only eat fats and no carbs, no carbs, okay. high fats, low carbs, and and protein. protein. Yeah, so we're just and that's it. So so we, guys, we're it's still not a lot of ingredients. Yeah, and guys, we're still figuring out like keto meals and stuff that we want to make and how will we want to make our meals and stuff like that so you just have to come along with us on this journey so just bear with us because the ingredients might be minimal for now but just bear with us we're gonna come through with the videos because you guys love these these cooking segments seem to be you guys favorite videos so we're gonna come through for y'all mm -hmm. and let's get into this video okay guys so first and foremost we have the star of the show which is our pork chops. What kind of pork chops are these? These are the center cut pork chops, okay? The ones with the bone, and it has a little bit of fat on the side. Ooh, I like me a nasty piece of pork chop with the bone and the fat on the side. Ooh, this is gonna be so nice and delicious and delectable and tender. I like me some nice tender meat. So let's move on to the second star of the show, which is the cabbage. Let me tell you, I like me a nice, steam crunchy cabbage like I don't like my cabbage too steamed like too soft I like to hear that crunch when I bite on my cabbage so yeah we're gonna steam some cabbage and let's get into the seasonings that we're all oh, know before we get into the seasonings we're also gonna have some string beans on the side it's gonna be very yummy let's get into our seasonings now so we are gonna use some Goya adobo we're also gonna use some garlic powder we're going to use some onion powder. We're going to use some paprika. We're going to use some Himalayan sea salt, pink. We're going to be using some black pepper. We're going to be using an onion. And we're going to also be using some olive oil. And we're also going to have an avocado on the side. And how can I forget our butter that we're going to use? Our Kerrygold grass-fed butter. Okay, guys, so that's our grocery list for today. Now we're going to head into prepping. We're going to wash our meat, cut up whatever we need to cut up, and we're just going to cook this meal because we are hungry. Right, Carrie? We are hungry. We're ready to eat. Right, Carrie? Yes. Okay, let's go. So first thing first, guys, we're going to prep our pork chops. So we're going to remove it from the package. We're gonna add it to a container, and we're gonna wash it. Ooh, I like the size of these. This Ooh, nice these are yummy. Yes, big and nice. That's how I like my pork chops. And how much was this 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 container of, of pork chops? Um, three ninety nine. So see, three of them. It's pork not... chops are very affordable. Yeah, and you get a good size too. So I'm gonna add some vinegar. Then I'm gonna wash it over here. Always remember, guys, wash your meat before you actually prepare it. Okay guys, so I transferred my chops to a bigger container because I want to make sure that every piece of my pork chop gets some seasoning on it. So I needed more room. So that's why I transferred to this bigger thing. Anyways, all right, we're gonna go in with our Goya adobo now. And guys, you wanna season it generously. You don't want it to be too salt, but you wanna make sure that it has a nice taste to it that's not fresh. These pork chops are really big. They look yummy. Yes, I look like it's good. Um, then I'm gonna go in with my onion powder. I'm gonna do the same thing. Then my garlic powder. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika. 
Um, and then I might add some black pepper. And then I'm gonna rub that all in. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that to marinate for a little. And then we're gonna go on to prepping our stuff for our cabbage and our string beans. Okay guys, so it's time to cut up our cabbage before we steam it. So let's grab our cutting board and grab us a knife. So we're just gonna split this down the middle. And we're gonna get rid of this hard part. Get rid of that. Then we're gonna chop this all up. So guys, now that I've prepped our cabbage and our onions, I'm going to move on to our string beans. Now guys, all I'm gonna do is cut off the edges of the string beans, just like this. And that's it, that's all we need to do for string beans. I just wanna cut off those edges. So guys, my green beans are all prepped. Now I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna move on to steaming my cabbage. Now I have a pot on the stove here that's heated. I'm gonna add some butter to that. When steaming your cabbage, guys, you wanna put some butter in the bottom of the pot first. Put some butter in there. And then you're gonna just let that melt for a little bit. Then you're gonna add your cabbage in. Swish it around. Then when it's melted, we're gonna add our cabbage. Okay guys, now that our cabbage is in our pots, we're gonna add a little bit more butter on top. Well, maybe just a little bit more. Then we're gonna add our onions on top. Then guys, we're gonna cover this and allow it to steam for like one or two minutes. Then we're gonna mix it up. Then we're gonna add our other ingredients, our black pepper and some salt. Okay guys, so it's now to fry our pork chops. I have my pot on the stove right here. It's already heated, I'm gonna add some olive oil to that. I'm gonna add a generous amount. And guys, because we're doing the keto diet, you have to use olive oil. You can use olive oil, avocado oil, or you can use coconut oil. What kind of other oil you could use? That's it, avocado oil, Yeah. coconut you oil. You can't use vegetable oil, you can't use um, what's other corn kind of oil. oil or corn oil or whatever. So I'm gonna allow the oil to get heated a little bit before I actually Then we're gonna add our my beautiful pork chops. pork chops. Okay guys, so our oil is heated and before I put the pork chop in there at all, let me tell you guys, we didn't use any flour on this. Some people use flour to fry their pork chops. In the keto diet, you can't use any flour. So we're gonna fry it just like this. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna taste the same way. It's gonna still come out with that crisp. You don't really need any flour. Oh, look at that guy. Hear that sizzle. Oh, this pork chop is so thick. Baby. This is gonna taste so good. Oh, so we're gonna let each side fry for about five to eight minutes. Let it get that nice golden color. And our stove is on medium high. Look at that blood leaking from the pork chop, guys. That means it's frying, it's cooking. Ooh. We're excited. Pork chop in our belly. Okay guys, so I'm gonna turn my pork chop now to the other side. Be careful here, because the oil pops yeah. severely. 
Ooh, you see that golden brown? Ooh, ooh, you're getting burnt, girl. Let me step back. Ooh, that looks so good. And sometimes it's happens. Sometimes it pops up like this. You have to press it down. It bubbles. Why? Yeah. So we're going to leave that side for like oh, about five minutes. Okay, guys. Now it's time to stir our cabbage. We want to bring the bottom part of the cabbage on top. So guys, we're going to allow this to steam some more before we add our salt and our black pepper. So our first pork chop is finished. We're going to take it out. Ooh! Uh-uh! We're gonna go ahead and add our second one. It's that pork chop juice. Ooh, let me step back for this one. Ooh, I'm scared. Ooh. Then we're gonna let this fry on each side again for like seven minutes on each side. Yeah, look at this one so, so far, good. guys. Ooh, look at the juice. You don't want it to be dry. You want it to be juicy and nice. And tender. Mm -hmm. And delectable and succulent. Ooh. Okay guys, so now it's time to add our salt. Then we're gonna add some black pepper all over. And then we're gonna mix that up. And you don't want the cabbage to be too soft. You want it to be crunchy and nice. So I'm just gonna let this steam for like five more minutes and then I'm gonna turn the fire off. Time to turn our second piece of pork chop to the other side. Well, let me step back. Allow that to fry for another five minutes. And then and we're going to be done. done with the pork chop. Okay, guys, so our second and final pork chop is done. We're going to take it out. Yay! Ooh. Almost oh, time to eat. Let it cool off. Turn so it let's off. check the cabbage now. The cabbage okay. should be done now. Oh yes. Yeah, the cabbage is done. It's so perfect. Yes. Yeah, so let's turn this Not off. Not too soft. Looks crispy. Crunchy. Let's taste it. Mmm. It's good. You hear the crunch? Let me see. <laughs> yes, we hear the crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so the final thing that we have to prepare is our string beans. So I have a pot heated on the stove. I'm just gonna add some butter to that. We're gonna wait until that melts. Okay, now that our butter is melted, we're gonna add our string beans to the pot. Turn the stove on low. And we're gonna kinda mix it in with the butter. Then we're gonna cover that and allow it to steam for three to five minutes. Okay guys, now time to check out our string beans. Stir them a little bit. Then we're gonna add a little salt all over that and a little bit of black pepper. You know we like everything seasoned, honey. Okay, mix that up again. We like our string beans to be crunchy. We don't like them to be too soft. So I think they're, they're good now, it's good. So, we can turn the stove off. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so everything is finally ready. I am a hungry. We are ready to eat. When I tell you we're gonna devour this meal, baby, I am ready to go to eat. So, I'm about to share the food and we're gonna go eat. Oh my god guys look at this plate look at this avocado look at this cabbage Ooh, look at the string beans i'm so hungry look at this pork chop though Ooh. food porn talk Ooh. about food porn Ooh. knock here it's time to eat 
so guys we actually have a video that we already recorded a mukbang of us eating this meal we're gonna leave the link in the description so you guys can go and watch that so we're not gonna be eating on camera tonight yes so as soon as this video ends just go on over to the description box it's gonna be that I'm gonna um, list it down below and you can just click on that and watch us eat this meal and guys we want to give a big shout out to Josh Reese for these aprons beautiful aprons thank you aprons. so much we, we love, love them. them so much we want to thank you girl thank you and as we always say every day is another, another chance to slay, slay. So slay bitch. Slay bitch. See y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Wait, 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 wait. I know you wasn't about to leave without subscribing. And while you're at it, click the bell right beside it so you can know every time we upload a video. And girl, make sure you like this video, girl. And leave a comment down below, girl. Okay, girl. Okay. Right now. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins, body twins, body, 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 body twins.